Every year, the Houston rodeo season begins with a parade downtown. The riders brave highways and city streets to get here. Tim Bronado came in with a group from a rural area north of the city. It's getting harder uh, every year for us just to find stops, to be able to stop safely and be safely on the side of the roads, to have our brake stop. But these trail riders don't sleep on the cold, hard ground the way old-time cowboys did. Rancher James Money rode in from Booth, Texas, about 45 kilometers away, and slept every night along the way in a comfortable camp trailer. I don't know if we're as hard as the old-timers. You know, we have to have luxuries to be able to do it. The day before the parade, riders make their last camp in Houston's Memorial Park. Here they can relax and practice their cowboy skills. So congratulations on an outstanding trail ride. And very There's also an award ceremony. Among the spectators was a visitor from Germany, Charula Palwitz. It's very nice to see a little bit of the culture here and uh, get a little bit of the mood here of Texas. The big winner at the awards ceremony was the Texas Independence Trail Ride from Brazoria, Texas. Joey Bolaños is among the proud winners. It's like the best of the best. Organization, the uh, horsemanship, and safety and all that. Tradition is the most important element of the trail ride for rancher Ed Coes. It's part of my heritage. My daddy was a rancher and farmer. His daddy was a rancher and farmer. We all were at one time in this Houston area. So we had to, we got to keep this going. Most trail riders are not ranchers, but they need to tend to their animals year round. Ten-year-old Kavin says he does that work at home, although his little sisters disagree. He don't do, he don't ride his horses at home. He don't do, he don't do hardly nothing at home with his horses. I do, I do. The barn bunch riders even bring along their own specially designed fire barrel for the cold nights. The boss of the crew, Daphne Johnson, says the week-long ride can be tiring. By Wednesday, everybody's saying, oh my gosh, I can't wait until this is over. By the time we get to the park, we're saying, oh no, the trail is almost over. And then on Sunday, we're planning for next year. Johnson says she enjoys spending time every year with others who enjoy a taste of cowboy life. Greg Flakus, VOA News, Houston.